It's the kind of delivery that's definitely worth waiting in for. Do you want to come in? Yeah, if we don't mind. We just come to give the vaccine. Here in Birmingham, GPs have started taking the vaccine door to door to vulnerable residents like Pat Hobbis, who Thank finds you. it hard to get out. Yeah, no Very privileged. I didn't expect to have it so soon. As I'm more or less housebound, I didn't expect to have it quite so soon. Almost 7 million people have now been vaccinated in England, with more than a quarter of a million of those jabs happening yesterday. In most regions, 80% of over 80s have now received a first dose. But London is lagging behind with fewer than 66% having been jabbed. It's not clear why the capital is going slower than elsewhere, but supply is always an issue. So today we're getting a really big supply. So we're getting um, Pfizer and we're getting AstraZeneca, which is, which is brilliant, which means that we're vaccinating throughout the weekend. Um, so we can really motor through our vulnerable cohorts, which is, which is great. But what I don't know yet is what I'm getting next week. Um, so I haven't been able to plan what we can do next week. Although a quarter of a million people got the jab yesterday, that's more than 100,000 doses below the daily average the NHS needs to hit in order to meet the mid-February target for vaccinating the top four priority groups. But tonight, a rare piece of good news. US company Novavax, which trialled its COVID vaccine on volunteers here in the UK, announced its jab is 89% effective against the virus. Half of those in the trial were infected with the new UK variant, showing the new strain cannot evade the vaccine. Data from South Africa suggests the vaccine provides at least 50% protection against the strain of the virus dominant there. For the person who led the UK vaccine task force, it's a cause for celebration. This is just the best news ever. It's the reason to break dry January. We actually were the first to run a phase three study for Novavax. They started their study with us. They then expanded the study and we enrolled that by the end of November um, before uh, any other phase three study had started, especially in the US. And most importantly, the volunteers in that study came from our NHS citizen registry. So I would like to say thank you to all those people who volunteered to help us get the data as quickly as we possibly could. The UK has 60 million doses of the Novavax jab on order and it's being manufactured in a plant in Teesside. Our drug regulator will have to review the company data before it can be approved, but it looks like we might soon be able to add a third vaccine to our armoury. That will mean more doses to roll out, more people protected and hopefully a swifter end to the crisis.